When talking about the first impression of Japanese women, a lot of foreigners may say elegant, kawaii, stylish. Me as a gaijin also find the same. Japanese ladies with silky hair, perfect makeup, good sense of fashion, cute nails designs are so commonly seen in the public and feels like it's becoming a standard. But as a gaijin, I'm more interested to know how much would it cost to reach such Japan beauty standard. And as a gaijin, how do I feel about this Japanese beauty standard? Let's find out. My first impression of Japanese ladies is most of their haircuts are super cute with nice hair color and not to mention how healthy their hair looks even though they may use hair iron on a daily basis. With wondering why their hair looks so shiny, I found many types of treatments from salons in Japan. And look at the result from pictures, I started to wonder, maybe that's the secret of silky hair? With holding the doubt, I visited a hair salon myself to enjoy this 14,000 yen treatment. この毎日何時間くらいかかっておりますね。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日。毎日
one minute only. After taking these three treatments following the Japan Beauty Standard, I find myself truly looks more elegant than before, feeling like I'm getting closer to the standard. But there's more. Besides these three treatments, actually many Japanese Okay, many Asian girls I met may also consider the followings. Less body hair, flawless light skin, skinny figure, small face with double eyelid. There are countless of hair removal salons in Japan, including self-service one. And I also bump into such laser hair removal ad on train or YouTube, mentioning how is it gonna make you look less feminine if you keep your body hair. And for flawless light skin, I believe most girls, including me, would regularly buy skincare products from drugstore or even go to spas for special treatment. And not to mention small face and big eye look is so trending in Asia. Plastic surgeries such as double eye Eyelid stitching is much more common than you imagine. Okay, I'm not gonna go that far because of a budget, but I could not imagine if you are going to meet all these standards, how much would it cost and how tiresome and stressful this is. Actually, I also have the habit of getting some items done before I move to Japan, but I would not do this like monthly because it is very time and money consuming. But Ever since I moved to Japan, girls around me or maybe strangers in the public seem have done most of the items I just mentioned because many of them look so perfect. I guess the reason for this kind of beauty becomes a standard is because the Japanese cultural concept of the conformity to the societal norms. So you might want to like following the others to prevent yourself from standing out by not doing any of this. Check out this very representative post from My Navy. I think I'm spending a lot of money on monthly beauty expense. My take-home pay is 250,000 yen. Out of that, I spent like 20,000 yen on hair. 50,000 yen on nail. 50,000 are really? And 8,000 yen on eyelash perms. Jeez, where did you go? In addition, I also buy new skin and cosmetic products and my monthly beauty expense could easily exceed 50,000 yen, wow! I do think I'm overspending, but I consider all of these to be necessary expenses. What would be a reasonable monthly beauty expense? Okay, of course, staff from the website and also me, me, me consider this is too much. And they actually offer a very ideal beauty expense standard like this. So if you live alone, that means you need to pay rent, right? Then the beauty expense should be at 3 to 5% of your take home salary. If you live with your parents, then maybe, you know, give you some slides, 6 to 10%. But I think the real solution for this girl is to ask herself why would she think the items that she mentioned are all necessary expense at the very first place. And the worst part is, I heard like the beauty standard in Japan is not even the strictest. Some other countries might even have a stricter standard. Ladies, please. <laughs>